alive 24 7. Before you judge a man, walk a mile in his shoes. Someone who takes a shot, even if they miss, are now closer to the target than the people who didn't take the shot. Limitless in real life, mixed with Truman Show, mixed with Groundhog Day, mixed with a bit of Forrest Gump. 24 7. Most of the time. No one's watching, sir. No one, no one cares. We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. An entire human life recorded on an intricate network of hidden cameras and broadcast live and unedited 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to an audience around the globe. Coming to you now from Sea Haven Island, enclosed in the largest studio ever constructed, and along with the Great Wall of China, one of only two man-made structures visible from space. Now, in its 30th great year, it's the Sipcam. Show! Monkeys. What's up? My name's Seb. This is the Cam Boom. This is Seb Cam. So I'm up on the roof of the house. I'm doing a little bit of fixing the roof. There's some leaking, but we can't figure out where is the leaking. It's still a bit of a mystery. I don't really know the answer. But I thought, while I'm up here, it's got a beautiful view, and I should come up here more often. I was just skeptical about jumping around on the roof until I had permission to do so but right now I have permission to do so because I'm I'm fixing the roof so what better location to stop and have a chat and explain not that I have to explain myself but to share with you why I have been a wall when I flew back from Florida got back to the house was like hey honey I'm home so good to be home again familiar place I flipped the light switch, it didn't turn on, and I was like, huh. The fridge is off, which was full of bananas that were still kind of cold and going a bit brown and a bit smelly. Maybe the place smelled a bit more smelly than it would do if the power was on. So next day passed, I tried to, you know, use some trip switches and flip some switches and whatever handymen do that look under the hood. I don't really know what I'm doing. Anyway, long story short, the power had been turned off, just a miscommunication with the power company, the investors, the partners, the house people. They weren't aware that I was here. It took a week before I was able to get the power turned on again. So that was a bit of a struggle. Lucky I had the van and I was able to pull from the van my battery power. I used the solar power from the van to so kind of camp out around the house using my blender and turning some basic lights on, charging my phone. But it kind of plunged me into a dark pause where it was also a bit rainy too. It wasn't warm and sunny out here like this. It was like, yeah, just, just miserable and cold. So I was cold, I stayed in bed. I had to like, there was the only way to stay warm. My hands were cold and I could see my breath in the air like, I know I don't have a lot of complaining to do compared to some of you guys where you are now in your cold, horrible winter environments, but it was a taste of like, ooh, this is a bit chilly. Um, I didn't want to just lounge around in the house, uh, you know, kicking around in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. It was too cold. I had to put all my jackets on and I ended up getting in bed to keep my legs warm and even my hands were sometimes cold. I'd have to put them under the covers. So I was really like in bed for a week. Sounds kind of strange, but it's true. Um, and, you know, going out and still doing workouts and a bit of sunrise and whatever, but it was just really cold and it wasn't much sunrise because it was raining. So that brings you up to speed with what's going on. Why haven't I been really making videos? I didn't really have any power and there was nothing happening worth filming. Oh, hi there, ladies and gentlemen, monkeys. Fancy seeing you there. My name's Seth, this is the 
Cam. Boom, this is Seb Cam. This is aloe vera. This is kale. This is celery. What's up? It's blender time. Day 44 of being live. Live streaming for 40 days and 40 nights. In the beginning, <laughs> there was the word. <laughs> In the beginning, I had these supplements. They're down here. Remember these, the do not age stuff? There's basically nothing left. There's one left in there. There's none left in there. I ran out. I don't think I realized how invigorating the supplements were. I mean, I did. I felt like, hey, I'm not procrastinating. I'm getting lo loads done. I don't seem to need a nap. I'm very focused. The main note like notable, noticeable thing was I could write at night. Normally I have to only do creative things that take a lot of focus and energy in the morning, like writing. At night I'm too tired, I'm not sharp enough. I don't want to sit at the laptop or whatever and I'm like, oh, I don't want to have to write. When I was on the NMN resveratrol, the NAD precursors. Basically, it's like a precursor for energy. So it gives you this youthful energy. It quite literally reverses your biological clock to some you know, scientific degree. But rather than measuring any science, I just measure how do I feel. And I felt amazing. I'm getting loads done. I'm going to be live 24-7. And that's where I decided, like, I'm going to push the button. And then as the month went on, I felt like, oh, I need a nap. Oh, I'm a bit more tired. Oh, I, I can't write. And I ran out. And then I was plunged back into my usual, slightly lethargic, procrastinating self with nowhere to go, <laughs> thinking, I need to get myself some more of that stuff. <laughs> can't know whether something is good or not good or working or not working until you have a comparison with, without, before, after, after, before. So now I've had a little time without it, I realize it was making a big difference. I can get a lot more done. I'm not procrastinating or hesitating or lethargic. I feel super switched on. A bit like that Limitless movie. It feels a bit like that in real life. Limitless in real life. Mixed with Truman Show, mixed with Groundhog Day, mixed with a bit of Forrest Gump, a sprinkling of Forrest Gump. And hey, have you seen the live stream? It's on all the time. My mom was like, yeah, I get the notification. I, I check in and I see what's he doing. Oh, he's busy on his laptop. Then she leaves again. I'm not trying to captivate your attention. That was the beauty of the Truman Show, was it was very much voyeuristic watching someone's life. Not that they're like an entertainer, presenter, clown the entire time. I'm having to deal with the feeling of judgment. And that's my challenge to overcome. It's a bit like this. Here's my best comparison. Imagine you move back in with your parents. It's just a you know, metaphorical example. And you, you've not got a job and you're not paying rent. And so every time you, you step into the room, in, into their house, you get this feeling of judgment, like they're kind of watching you walk across the room to the blender, thinking you should get a job. <laughs> or pay the rent or do, like there's some kind of judgment there. You don't know necessarily what it is, and it might be purely an illusion in your own brain. It might be you thinking, I should get a job. I should stop being a loser. I should sort out my situation. That's why I don't particularly like living with people necessarily, because of that judgment. So when you put the camera on 24 seven, there's that judgment there of the people who are inside all the time. And it's 24 seven, like you're walking into your parents' house and you haven't paid the rent and you're, uh, but not really, because I know you're not asking me for anything. You're not like, hey, be more entertaining. Hey, you know, 
dress up a bit? Why have you always got the same clothes on? You know, just simple things. You should cut your hair. I know, I'm going to cut my hair. I mean to do it at the laundry. Yep. The laundry's here. I'm going to do my laundry. Like, it's like having your parents <laughs> constantly watching. And uh, ironically, my actual parents aren't actually watching. No one's watching, sir. No one, no one cares. But it feels like there, there's something there in my head, in a judgment. And that's what I mean about I love having people live inside the camera. I'm not sure I want them living in my head. The thought that runs around in your head constantly. But that's my battle to overcome. I'm working on it. This is just a learning curve. A 40 day, 40 night learning curve. No one really cares. Is anyone really watching? What's the point? Why am I why am I even here? <laughs> What's the meaning of life? Right? I'm literally like, ugh, it's a drag. What a drag it is. You have to have this camera on all the time. Always, always judging, always watching. And that happens roughly every couple of weeks. And I think that's natural. I think it's natural to need some kind of a day off. So at that point, I've just been like, oh, I just won't turn it on until I feel like it then. And that seems to work. Here we are. I'm back. It's 24 seven most of the time. <laughs> Failure. You fail to be 24 seven. It's pretty close to 24 seven. So I'm not worried about that. I actually feel like it's a success to just kind of learn how are we gonna manage this long term? Make sure I don't run out of NMN and resveratrol from do not age dot org. <laughs> uh, you don't want to run out of that ever again. It's valuable to sometimes stop and talk and not always feel like I have to be doing action. Epic things. Those are great. And we'll continue to show epic things and motivation and good wise advice and all that stuff. And now and then, it's nice to just have a chat, isn't it? And so I really want to reach out to Monica and say thank you so much, Monica. She specifically went to PayPal to sign up a PayPal account so that she could send me some encouraging donation because of the value she's received watching the live stream. Now that was heartbreaking in a good way. You know, like, oh, she went to all that trouble to make the PayPal to send me something. And it wasn't even just a little something. It was a lot. It was like, I was like, what? Huh? Eh? Really? I couldn't believe it. Thank you so much, Monica, for being that encouragement just when I needed it. And for reminding me that's why the camera's always on, because you don't know what people might gain from it, and it's not up to you to know. Let the people decide whether it's valuable or not. And if it's not valuable, they can switch off, you know where the button is, you know where the door is. <laughs> and you just think, what is he doing? Or you think, hey, I've got an aloe vera plant outside, or I could put aloe vera in my smoothies. I don't know, I don't know what you're gonna get out of it. Most people, when they, evaluate their lives, their progress, it's kind of once or twice a year. Maybe on New Year's Day, they're like, hey, I should really have a New Year's resolution, is what we call it. Or maybe it's a birthday. It's like, oh, I'm another year older now, maybe I should think about, you know, doing those things I said I'd do. So at best, a couple times a year, we have some kind of honest evaluation with ourselves. I've decided through my research and whatever that it would be a good idea watching other people who are successful, they evaluate themselves once a week. So every Sunday, sun day, I'm gonna have a proper sit down, lay down in the sun, whatever, walk, talk, good old talk with myself. I'd be like, yo, are we on target here? Because we know someone who takes a shot, even if they miss, are now closer to the target than the people who didn't take the shot. 
So each week, I'm going to get a little bit closer, a little bit closer to that elusive success, which only I can truly define. And the definition is constantly shifting like the goalposts that we're aiming at. <laughs> We've got a website coming soon. We got the book. I've already written the book. The movie. I've been talking about the movie for forever. And the artwork and the merch and all that. There's going to be so many things. And coaching and helping people in more directly. Not just by jibber-jabbering on and making videos. But by actually speaking to some people in person. Or over Skype. Or Zoom. Or whatever. Video call. All this is being born out of this nest. Here. That's a new thing for me. Haven't really had that. Because I've been running along, or a bit in the van, or whatever. I'm finding balance between getting work done, which means basically staying in, sometimes in bed, or at least locking myself in at the desk. Because that's how you, you can't write a book if you're going out to play all the time. At some point, you got to get the work done. Eventually, everyone gets what they deserve. You can't have a happy ending to an unhappy journey. That's it. That's all I had to say, really. Freaking brilliant supplements are helping me out. If you want to give it a try, give it a try. You'll soon see what I mean. You can feel the effects within like 20 minutes. <laughs> There's no question about like, oh, uh, you know, you gotta build up for a while and when you've been taking them for a few weeks or a month or a few years. No, you really do feel it immediately. Ta-da! Super set, activated, upgraded. If your blender's not overflowing, you're not doing it right. Oh, the people, they're judging you. They're judging your messy blender. Oh, the judgment heaped upon me. Before you judge a man, walk a mile in his shoes. And then... It won't matter anymore because you're a mile away and you've got his shoes. Oi! Hey! Come back with my shoes! Oi! behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow! <laughs> yeah!